These days, most of the things you read are probably on a tablet. And with the rise of ebooks, it's just logical to expect artists to try something that mixes in the digital realm. Analogy is from the famous comic book artist, Brian Heberlin and Skip Brittenham. Their impressive masterpiece is the longest and most interactive graphic novel available to date. At an impressive 370 pages, the story revolves around a futuristic world where corporations run the world, and your place in society is determined by the number of shares you have. More than just a graphic novel, Anomaly is a fully interactive experience for readers with iPads, Kindles, and Nooks. As long as your iOS or Android device has a camera, you can access the book's incredibly expansive augmented reality add-ons. This includes 2D pop-up art, 3D interactive characters, as well as touch points that bring up in-depth background information on the aliens and the history and political structures of their world. This foray into the mix of print and digital might be a sign of the times when going digital doesn't necessarily mean just porting text, but also creating something new and fresh. I'd be willing to flip pages for that. Canadians are lucky enough to have access to many sources of environmentally friendly power, like wind turbines and hydro plants. But thanks to some German engineers, wind power can be greener still, thanks to the Timber Tower, a new wind turbine made of wood. Currently, more steel is used worldwide in turbine construction than in shipbuilding. The timber tower will bring that consumption down a great deal if it catches on. The first one's just been erected in Hanover, Germany. Each tower built will save 300 tons of sheet metal, and the low power construction means a 400 ton reduction in the building's carbon footprint. Once the turbine is too old to work, the building is recyclable. The timber tower is testing and will be connected to Germany's power system early next year. As to how successful it'll be, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind.